Hello, Sawyer here. Welcome to Real Numbers, the show that explores math by solving problems from real life. Today, we're capping off our sequence about expected value with the basketball problem. Game on. Danielle likes to finish her basketball practices with half-court shots. Her routine is that she keeps trying until she makes one. If she makes 20% of her half-court shots, on average, how many attempts does she need to make a half-court shot and finish her practice? That is, if Danielle attempts half-court shots until she makes one, what is the expected value of the number of attempts? And a bonus question. What if she only stops once she's made two in a row? How many attempts would that take on average? Submit your answer, showing your work, using the button on this page. Now let's solve last week's problem. You can navigate to that episode below. Jaden has two final exams that each occur on one of the five weekdays of finals week, uniformly randomly. He wants to know the expected number of days between his final exams. This problem is small enough that just writing out the computational solution isn't too bad. There are only 25 possibilities of the timing of his two exams, all equally probable. Let's call Jaden's two classes math and uh, statistics. Then we can summarize the 25 possibilities in a table. Now we can fill this table with the number of days between the two exams. Along the diagonal, the two exams fall on the same day, so there are zero days between them. The diagonals above and below this, the exams occur on consecutive days, so there's one day between them. Continuing outward, we can finally fill in fours in the top right and bottom left quarters, which happen when one of the exams is on Monday and the other is on Friday. Each of the 25 entries in this table are equally likely, so to compute the expected number of days between Jaden's exams, we just want to compute the sum of these numbers each multiplied by 1 over 25. Factoring out the 1 over 25, we just want to sum the entries in this table. The sum of the entries is just 5 times 0 for the entries along the diagonal, plus 8 times 1 for the entries 1 off the diagonal, plus 6 times 2, plus 4 times 3, plus 2 times 4 for the two 4 entries in the corners. This sums to 40, and dividing by 25 gives a result of 8 fifths, or 1.6. The bonus question was to expand Jaden's exam schedule to include a third class. If we wanted to use the same approach, we would have to fill out a 5 by 5 by 5 three-dimensional table, which sounds much more complicated. So let's find another way to solve the first problem that more naturally extends to the three-class case. We wanted to compute the expected number of days between exams. By assigning the numbers 1 through 5 to the days of the week, Monday through Friday, we can rewrite this as the expected value of L minus K, where L is the later exam and K is the earlier exam. Then by linearity of expectation, this is the expected value of L minus the expected value of K. Let's try to compute the first term, the expected value of the later exam day by filling in a new table. The later exam day is just the maximum of the two exam days, so we can fill in the table as such. We get a different pattern. The number of, say, threes is the number of entries in the L shape that is inside the three by three square at the top left, but outside the two by two square at the top left. That means that there are three squared minus two squared threes in the table. Grouping all the like terms together and counting them up this way gives the sum of the entries of this table as 1 times 1 squared plus 2 times 2 squared minus 1 squared plus 3 times 3 squared minus 2 squared plus 4 times 4 squared minus 3 squared plus 5 times 5 squared minus 4 squared. Regrouping these terms, we get 5 times 5 squared minus 4 squared minus 3 squared minus 2 squared minus 1 squared or 125 minus 16 minus 9 minus 4 minus 1, or 95. Before we continue, this regrouping of the expected value computation is a reflection of a more general formula. Anytime you have a random variable whose values are non-negative integers, that is, it's only ever one of the natural numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, we can compute its expected value by this formula. The expected value of x is the sum from i equal 1 to infinity of the probability of x greater than or equal to i. The proof of this fact is just a bit of summation rearranging. By definition, the expected value is the sum over non-negative integers i 
of i times the probability x equals i. x equals i exactly when x is greater than or equal to i, and it's not true that x is greater than or equal to i plus 1. Then we can rearrange the summation terms to get the formula. The expected value of x is the sum over i from 1 to infinity of the probability x is greater than or equal to i. We will come back to this formula later. Now let's continue with our calculation. We had just found that the sum of the entries in the table was 95. Therefore, the expected value of L equals 1 over 25 times the sum of the entries in the table, or 95 over 25, or 19 over 5, or 3.8. Now what about the expected value of K, the earlier exam day? Well, by symmetry, we could switch the direction of time by taking each day's number i and replacing it with 6 minus i and the later exam would swap places with the earlier exam. By linearity, the expected value of k equals the expected value of 6 minus l, that's 6 minus the expected value of l, or 6 minus 19 over 5, or 11 over 5, or 2.2. Therefore, the expected number of days between the exams is the expected value of l minus the expected value of k is 19 over 5 minus 11 over 5, or 8 fifths, or 1.6. Agreement with our earlier calculation. What's nice about this computation is how it more easily extends to the case of Jaden having a third final exam. Let's imagine we had filled in the 5 by 5 by 5 cubic table of latest exam day. Now, instead of numbers being grouped in L shapes that are the differences of squares with the same top left corner, we have corner shapes that are the differences of cubes with the same top left corner. So we can use our new formula for the expected value of a randomly chosen entry of this cubic table. The expected value of the latest exam day is the sum from i equal 1 to 5 of the probability the latest exam day is greater than or equal to i, which is the sum from i equal 1 to 5 of 1 minus i minus 1 cubed over 125. Because for each day i, Jaden's latest exam being less than i means that all three exams are in the first i minus 1 days of the week, which happens with the probability i minus 1 over 5 quantity cubed. So the expected value of the latest exam day is 5 minus the sum from i equal 1 to 4 of i cubed over 125. That's 5 minus 1 plus 8 plus 27 plus 64 all over 125. That's 5 minus 100 over 125, or 5 minus 4 fifths, or 4.2. Again, by symmetry, the expected value of the earliest exam day number is 6 minus 4.2, or 1.8, and so the expected number of days between Jaden's earliest and latest exams is 4.2 minus 1.8, or 2.4. Okay, I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, but there's actually another way to compute this answer. We can leverage the answer to the two exam case to give us an easy way to compute the three exam case by considering the three exams in groups of two. Say Jaden is going to take three exams, math, statistics, and uh, uh, advanced math. So now there will be an earliest, middle, and latest exam during the finals week. No matter where the middle exam lies, it's easy to see that the number of days between the earliest and latest exams equals the number of days between the earliest and middle exam plus the number of days between the middle and latest exams. Now, if we add another copy of the number of days between the earliest and latest exams, we get 2 times the number of days between earliest and latest equals the number of days between earliest and middle plus the number of days between middle and latest plus the number of days between earliest and latest. Now, the right-hand side is just a sum over the three pairs of exams, so we can replace it with the names of the classes which we know will be the earliest, middle, and latest in some order. So two times the number of days between the earliest and latest equals the sum of the number of days between each of the pairs of exams. Now, taking expected value and using linearity, we can replace all of the pairs of tests on the right with our known expectation of the number of days between two tests. So two times the expected value of the number of days between the earliest and latest exams equals three times the expected value of the number of days between two exams. Therefore, the expected value of the number of days between the earliest and latest exams is three halves times eight fifths, or 12 fifths, or 
The same answer we got earlier. Beautiful. All right, now let's solve this episode's problem of the week. Danielle makes 20% of her half-court attempts. On average, how many attempts does she need to make one and finish off her practice? And the bonus question, what is the expected number of attempts if she tries until she makes two in a row? Submit your answer below, showing your mathematical reasoning. See you next week, where we will find as many ways as possible to solve this problem.